everybody, welcome to another episode of Mike's World. Today we're going to be taking a look at this generic RCA to HDMI adapter that you can pick up on Amazon. RCA plugs on one end, HDMI output on the other. We're going to hook this up to a VHS VCR and dub off a VHS tape into, our, into my laptop. And I'm going to show you how to do that by hooking all this up with a few extra pieces of equipment. All this stuff available on Amazon. In the description you'll see a link to my Amazon store. Amazon.com slash shop slash Mike's World. Go there, you can find all this stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this is the, H the RCA to HDMI capture device that we're going to be testing and looking at. Has a HDMI output here, RCA plug in here for your analog device. If you look here, you have uh, the power cable goes here. That is this micro USB to full size USB. So this will plug in here and then the power source will go. And you have a selector switch if you want to output 720 or 1080. So you have the option there. The device comes in this box right here. It's a pretty generic box, but it does come with a user guide that explains how to hook everything up um, to output for HDMI. Now, um, we are typically you would use this to convert an analog device such as your VCR to um, a TV that has HDMI inputs. But today what I'm actually going to do is hook this up uh, to my laptop and we're going to dub or tr transfer some footage from a VHS VCR to my laptop using the free OBS software. I'm going to show you how to hook all this up. In addition to the two items that come with this, uh, the other things that we have here, which will be available uh, to purchase as well on Amazon, is one, you have an HDMI capture card. These are pretty inexpensive. HDMI input here, USB output here. We have a short HDMI cable. Any HDMI cable will work. You just have to make sure. I did buy a Amazon Basic one at one point and found out it wasn't working and I couldn't understand why and it's because it was only capable of doing 720. So you gotta make sure you get a good quality HDMI cable. We also have this USB female to male. And the reason I have this is when you plug in your capture card um, like this, then you want to plug this into your laptop because if you plug this directly in, then it's stuck there and it, it could get broke off easily. A lot of things can happen. So just for safety reasons, I like to use a little, what I call a USB jumper cable. So we're going to hook all this up. We will hook an HDMI cable into the capture card, hook the other side of the HDMI cable to the converter. I'm going to leave it on 1080 because my laptop is set to record 1080, so it will up convert. But I'm gonna go ahead and get all this hooked up to my VHS VCR, and then we're going to go ahead and transfer some video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is connect my RCA cable to the output of my VHS VCR. Pretty simple. Now you wanna make sure the power on your VCR, and then I would insert your tape I'm going to insert a tape. And I'm going to go ahead and hit play to play the tape. And the reason for this is I want a signal going through my uh, system as I'm connecting to the laptop so you know I have a picture. Once we get everything set up, you can rewind the tape and start digitizing. Once you have the VCR on, the tape playing, you can then connect your uh, USB. You have everything connected. Now connect. USB to the laptop, you'll hear it connect. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna open our OBS software. You'll have to go search OBS, um, Open Broadcast System, so, uh, so that you can download and install this. And so now with the camera connected, uh, with everything connected and the VHS VCR connected, you can see uh, this is an old football game that, um, that I had recorded on a VHS tape back in the day and you have audio here. What you do is when you're done, when you're ready, uh, you go over here and you hit start recording and it will start recording what is being put into uh, OBS. So this is how you capture and record your stuff for free. Okay, I'm gonna show you really quickly how to set up OBS Studio to record video from an analog source using the RCA to HDMI converter. So we're gonna open OBS Studio right now. And we're going to go full screen with this. And what we're going to do is I'm actually going to start a new scene. And we're going to just call it record. 
Now this is assuming you have connected the converter, your VCR, everything, and you have uh, some footage or a tape in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit play on the tape. We don't see anything yet. First thing, you're gonna need a scene, which one is there by default. Over here under sources, you need to add a source. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add video capture device. So we're gonna click that and you can name it whatever, but I'll just leave it video capture device. And a box is going to open right now. Sometimes it takes a minute. And right here is what you want, the USB video. It also gives you an option for the webcam, uh, OBS virtual camera, um, the Elgato screen link, that, that is uh, something else that I have. So, but UBS, USB video, that is our USB capture card. And then we're just gonna click, uh, we're gonna go down here and check, make sure, audio output, capture audio, click OK. And need to go back in there, double click this again, because I'm not seeing the audio. So I'm waiting for this to open up. Sometimes it's a little slow. We're gonna use, you're not gonna use that. Yes, use custom audio device. The audio device is going to be our USB digital audio from our device that we're capturing from. We'll click OK. And then over here, if I hit, um, See, transition. Now it is uh, over here in the program scene. So you have your preview, which has had your input. Now we've switched over here and cut over to um, to show in the program. Program is where you'll record. You're recording anything in the program. You'll notice here the audio is being captured. You can adjust the audio up and down. Pretty simple right there. And you're probably hearing it audio over top my voice. But okay, so you can adjust your audio right here. Um, and then over here, what you wanna set up, now this, I'm only showing you set up to record. Not gonna show you uh, anything else at the moment. So over here, go to settings and click on settings. The OBS settings will open. And you wanna go to video. Your base canvas, uh, if you wanna record it as 1920, 1080, leave it at 1920. Your audio should be at 48 hertz stereo. And then under general, you have, it's not under general, it's under, I think it's under output. Under output, recording. You want to pick where you want your videos to record to. So if you want to record to your video tab, you have a special folder, you set that here. Under recording high quality, I, um, I tend to record high quality medium file size. They get pretty big when you get up here at indistinguishable and lossless. Medium is pretty good. You don't want same as stream because if you set your stream up for a lower bit rate because of your connection, then your record's gonna be pretty low. So I usually select high quality medium file size. I always record as an MP4. You can record these as MTS, which is HDV file. You can record um, flash video, MKV, which is uh, Matroski video. That's basically MP4, but it separates the video and audio tracks, and then you have to remux or convert the, the uh, recording when you're done. Just leave it on MP4 for most things that you have. Audio track, we want to record tracks one and two. You rarely record an analog device are going to have more than two tracks, so we'll just do one and two. And then we're going to click Apply, OK. And then we're ready to go. And from that point forward, when I want to record, I've got my footage in the program source monitor. This is what I want to record. I just hit start recording and it will start recording. You can actually pause your recordings and then resume to keep one file. But maybe if you're dubbing a video that had commercials, something you recorded off TV a long time ago, you can pause for the commercial, unpause when it comes back and it stays as one file. But that's how you record. And then to stop it, you just hit stop. You'll see the video is, um, finalizing and so and that's all you do and if I go down here and I close out OBS and I go to my files where I've recorded my videos which is going to be under I have a folder called OBS record 
these are all things that I've recorded, whether it be my streams, um, live streams in the past, things like that. And if we go to find today's date right here, and if I click on the MP4, I've actually got it set up so it records both, MK4B. And there you go. So that's what I recorded. And it's an MP4 file on my computer. So that's all there is to setting up OBS Studio to record an analog device uh, using an RCA to HDMI converter and an HDMI capture card. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Like the video, leave a comment, and then always hit the notification bell. You'll know every time I upload a new video. Uh, hope you guys have enjoyed it. Have a great day.